Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, will the band please, uh, where's the band? Thank you very much. It's a wonderful band, and we're going to call on you again in just a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> I'm Congressman Boggs, along with Secretary Hodges, co-chairman of this train. We have aboard uh, the First Lady of our land. She has traveled uh, through three of the great states of the South, Virginia and North Carolina, and now the great state of South Carolina. <coughs> She has appeared, I would say, now at least 25 times. And everywhere in the Southland, this lady who was born and reared in the South and loves it just as you and I do has been, been, giving a, been given a magnificent reception. <laughs> now, before I introduce some people whom you already know, well and favorably and whom you have honored with high public office in this great state of our country. I would like to call some names of some distinguished citizens of this great section of South Carolina who, will, who have been on the train and who will depart as I call their names. <coughs> Mr. and Mrs. Henry Sims II, co-chairman of this train. Mr. and Mrs. <coughs> Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Hugo Sims, I served in the House with Hugo, a distinguished member of Congress. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Julian Wolf. Julian Wolf has been a solicitor of this district for many years, a distinguished citizen. <coughs> Senator and Mrs. Marshall Williams. A very distinguished citizen of your great state the chairman of the Board of Trustees of the magnificent University of South Carolina, Rudd L. Osborne and his lovely wife. And Mr. and Mrs. Robert Osborne. And Mr. and Mrs. Harold Bozard, co-chairman of the Lady Bird Special. Governor and Mrs. George Bell Timberman. Mr. and Mrs. Vernon Scott. Donald Russell, Jr., Tom Hutto, Mr. Hendricks, Mr. Sheehan, all of the governor's office, Miss Ruth Moore, Mr. and Mrs. R.M. Jeffries, Jr., and Miss Inez Watson, who I understand has been in the public service of this state for a great many years. And now it's my privilege to not introduce to you, but present to you one of the great governors in the United States of America, a Democrat through and through, Governor Russell of South Carolina. It's a great pleasure to be here. It's a great honor to be a part of this train. And I know as this train goes through South Carolina, it's a harbinger of what's going to happen on November the 3rd, when Lyndon B. Johnson, when all of us are going to combine to put South Carolina in the Lyndon B. Johnson dollar. Wait a minute. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is not on my, my agenda, but this lovely lady, the wife of the governor, Virginia Russell has been on this train since we left Washington yesterday. Not only that, she and my wife helped to put this train together. And I wish you'd just say a word, Virginia, and let these folks show their appreciation to you. Say something to you. I'm proud to be a Democrat. I'm proud to, to work for the democratic cause and to, to work to, to have this train come through South Carolina and to bring to you the loveliest lady, the most gracious lady, the kindest lady, the first lady of the world, Ms. Lyndon Johnson.
Now let me tell you something. In South Carolina, we changed the name of this train. It was a Ladybird Special, but now it's a Johnson Special. We got four Johnsons on this train. We got Olin Johnson. We got his wife. We got Lady Bird Johnson, and we got Linda Bird Johnson. I want to introduce to you, I say introduce to you, that's, that's ridiculous. I want to present to you the wife of a senior senator from South Carolina, one of the loveliest ladies on earth, and a magnificent Democrat, Mrs. Olin Johnson. I can. Folks, this has been the greatest day in the history of South Carolina. From the moment we came over the state line, people have rallied, have come out, and they have made us know that we believe in Lyndon Johnson and his principles. And I know that God's blessings will be upon us as we follow him in the November election. Thank you. Now, let me tell you something. You know, the president, after attending the biggest rally in the South last night in Raleigh, is out in the Midwest today, and all of you know what's happening in this country. The president's going to carry the West, and he's going to carry the Midwest, and he's going to carry Maine and Vermont and New Hampshire and Arizona. And if anybody thinks they're not going to carry, he's not going to carry South Carolina and North Carolina, I'll let one of the great senators of the United States Senate, a loyal Democrat, a true son of the great state of South Carolina, tell you what's going to happen here. Here's your friend and the friend of the United States and of South Carolina, the Honorable Olin Johnson. Congressman Boggs and other distinguished guests, I'm glad to have this privilege to come to Orangeburg and to speak to you good people. For I am one that has been a Democrat. I intend to be a Democrat. And I'm, I'm a Democrat because of the principles they stand for. Trying to help the farmers, trying to help the working people of this state. And I can also say that if you vote for Goldwater, you're not voting for progress either. Now, friends, I know what's going to happen on November the 3rd. Your people are going to study the record of the men. And I dare anybody to study the record. And if they don't find out that Lyndon Johnston is head and shoulders above Goldwater, then you can vote for Goldwater. Now, now then, friends, there's much at stake in this state. You farmers, look at how. The votes have been in the United States Senate. You'll find that gold water on each instance has voted against the farmers of this nation. And I'm on that committee, vice chairman of the committee. So vote then if you want to for gold water and see your cotton drop six or eight percent. And I would be sorry for the mill people, a place where I worked for 10 years, because I fear that they will be shut down and the people will be thrown out of employment because I know that they can't meet the world competition and pay eight, eight cents a pound more for cotton. So it's between the farmers and the mill people that's going to be caught in this race and I'd be derelict in my duty if I didn't come and tell my people of South Carolina what you are facing in this election. God bless you. Vote your conscience.
Now, ladies and gentlemen, on yesterday morning, as the sun was rising over the Capitol Dome of the great United States of America, which we love and whose fu future we have faith in, a crowd gathered in Alexandria, Virginia, one of the historic cities of our country. Since that time, less than 48 hours ago, Mrs. Johnson, the first lady of our land, has spoken to almost a quarter of a million Southern Americans. And they have given her a warm, friendly reception because she is of the South. She was born and reared in the South. She understands our problems. She has compassion for our people because she knows them and loves them just as you and I do. And it's my... It's my great privilege, my high honor, to present to you a good and wonderful woman, one that the whole world admires and respects, the face lady of our land, Mrs. Lyndon B. Johnson. Orangeburg wasn't on my schedule, but I wanted to come here because I heard there are a lot of good, faithful Democrats here. And I wanted to say to you that we value you, we believe in you, we appreciate you. In fact, I asked for this assignment to make this whistle stop south because this is the part of the country that I care about very much. It is the home of my ancestors. My grandmother, Emma Bates, and her parents were born here in South Carolina. And throughout the 29 years in Congress, in the vice presidency that my husband has spent, he has worked with your congressmen and senators to do for the state of South Carolina the things it needs most to help it secure a better chance to a better life. The Democratic Party has always been concerned with the problems of South Carolina, and I know South Carolina will remember that this fall. I thank you for this wonderful reception. <laughs> And now, and now, and now before we go on down this whistle shop trail, I want to present our daughter, Linda Bird. I want to thank, I want to thank the band from coming and all these people from, from Kaplan and State College for coming. We certainly... We certainly... We, we, we start... We certainly... We start, certainly do appreciate all of y'all coming. We particularly appreciate the signs. Even though there are a few we don't agree with, we're good. We're glad we live in a country where we're allowed to disagree. And after all, we know in our hearts who's right. And we're glad we have all these wonderful people from South Carolina here cheering for us because we know those other people are just from the state of confusion. So, so vote Democratic from the, court, from the courthouse to the White House. Thank you.
Thank you, folks. Give them all a big hand. They're lovely, lovely. All aboard.